Hello Pisces, this is Clarity1129 and welcome to your May and June 2022 monthly predictions. How have you been doing? I hope you're all well. I shall be following the usual format and for those of you who are new, that will include me first taking out one card each from the Moonology deck for your overarching energies for the month of May and June. So for May, you get conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. Uh, and we'll take out one card for June. And you get, it's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. Okay. Now for the month of May, we're going to use the Lightseer's Tarot and we are going to pull out four cards, one each for your general outlook, love romance relationships, career and finance and last but not the least is your spiritual growth. So for me, your general outlook is the Five of Swords. Mm. Love and Romance, Eight of Wands. King of Cups for your career and finance. And the World is the card that you get for your spiritual growth. Now for the month of June, I'm going to use the Universal Weight Tarot. And again, I'm going to pull out four cards for the same. All right, for your general outlook, you get the beautiful four of wands. For love, romance, relationships, you get the eight of swords. For career and finance, you get the two of wands and for spiritual growth you get the beautiful strength card okay i'm going to take out two cards each from the fortune telling cards the tea leaf fortune telling cards i'll take out two cards which will either clarify and or amplify the general outlook cards okay so for the month of may we get yoke feeling tied down or frustrated and seahorse family matters okay and for the month of june we get staff you will be taken care of in difficult times. And Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. All right. Now, this is the basic part of your reading. Once we are done with this, we'll go to the second part of the reading, which will be advice from spirit and all the other fun stuff. All right. Okay. So let's begin with this. For the month of May, you get conclusions are within reach. All right. Full moon eclipse. So if there's something that you're waiting for, it's going to reach its climax now. You are going to get your answers. You are going to know how something is going to work out. If it is a project that you're working on, you will see whether it's going to be received well or not. Whatever it is that you've been waiting patiently for, it's going to happen now. And you'll get to know where you stand or where that particular thing stands. All right. Now for your general outlook of the month is this five of swords. You are... Um, you know, this could be a card of mind games. This could be a card of trying to win at all costs, trying to have the last word or dealing with somebody who's doing that with you. And so uh, you are in the same energy yourself. All right. And um, this is the energy that you are in. 
and it could be a result of feeling tied down or frustrated all right and with this family matters here i feel that it is closer home that is leading you to this five of swords energy all right so there is someone around your home uh, it could be your partner it could be any other family member who um, you know you're in constant maybe verbal battle with you're playing mind games they're saying something which you don't like or they say something that you don't like and throughout the day you're just thinking about how you can you know answer give them a rejoinder of some sort and it is not how you'd like to be because Pisces are meant to be dreamy and they do dream beautiful dreams and not, um, you know, trying to answer somebody or, you know, reply to the nastiness with some more nastiness. That's not you. So you're feeling tied down and frustrated and you don't want to deal with it. And all these family matters are weighing down on you. All right. So this is something that you need to keep in your mind and to tell yourself that whatever you want to know the conclusions are within reach and you're going to come out of this energy the good part is that this is a minor arcana so this is just something which will go you shift your mindset and these things will go all right uh, for your love romance and relationships you get the beautiful eight of wands so there's going to be a lot of passionate communication so if you are single and in uh, you know uh, maybe the person who was uh, coming uh, forward is a fire sign or whoever it is you're thinking about they are thinking about you and they're going to you know you're going to be receiving a lot of text messages or you know people um, getting some sort of an offer or a proposal or something or someone is just confessing to you directly how they feel about you and it's going to be very uh, passionate all right so for um, that's beautiful for you singles out there and for those of you who are partnered in committed relationships or in marriages there's going to be a lot of fireworks all right there's going to be a lot of uh, chemistry and physical attraction and a lot of um, a passionate communication as well all right so this uh, looks very interesting and very happy as far as your love romance and relationships are concerned for your career and finances you get the king of cups so whatever you are doing very passionately you are going to have emotional fulfillment so uh, obviously you're doing something because it's going to give you uh, money it's going to give you whatever you're doing that's why you're doing it but more than anything you are going to be so uh, satisfied you know emotionally it's going to be your ikigai all right so this is a beautiful energy to be with you're uh, you're really satisfied and happy with what you're doing okay you're in a good place in a very happy place now for your spiritual growth you get the world card and that is uh, successfully completing one cycle you're basically closing out cycles and starting new cycles and you understand the cyclical nature of life all right so whatever it is that's bothering you here you finally putting an end to it and you realize that these are things which come in phases and they just come so that you learn from it you ascend and you just you know uh, put that behind you you heal it and you just let it go and you don't let it bother you all right now coming to june this is after this uh, you know when you start closing out cycles and releasing things you will find that you automatically start releasing the negativity that comes with all this confusion and family drama. It happens everywhere. And uh, sometimes, you know, when we are going through lows, we don't deal with it, just, uh, with it so nicely. But you've already had your uh, cycles finish and a new cycle beginning. So you're right to release your negativity. If you've been doing your healing and if things have come up from the past, you know, childhood trauma, whatever it is, work on it and release it all right and you'll find yourself liberated from all this uh, things which keep coming up from time to time all right and if you find that it's difficult you're being assured that you will be taken care of in difficult times so just keep the faith all right and yes maybe you're dealing with a stubborn aggressive person so you show your strength here and you know that this too shall pass and don't waste your time and energy over something which is, you know, just for the sake of it. You should know, you should carefully pick your battles. If it's just going to, uh, it has no consequence. It's just going to eat on your, um, you know, happiness 
and your peace of mind just let it go it's not worth it really now the energy that you are in which is very beautiful in the month of uh, june which is very different from the five of swords energy is the four of wands energy which is very celebratory and very happy happy home celebration that kind of energy so maybe there's a lot of celebrations happening in the family or you've got your success or this eight of wands has made you very happy but you're in a very good happy space throughout the month of june however in your love romance relationships whatever relationship it may be there is a lot of self-sabotage so maybe things are going well and someone's uh, writing you these passionate uh, uh, notes and they are telling you how much you mean to them uh, whether you're in a whether you're single or in a relationship or wherever but your insecurities are playing up now all right and uh, you are on the threshold of self-sabotage so if someone's saying you're looking beautiful and you're thinking i'm sure i'm not so beautiful they want something else from me all right if you're in this energy you're told being told to guard against it something please release this negativity and this negative self-talk that you do to yourself all right if someone says you're beautiful you know the whole world can say you're beautiful if you don't feel it you don't want to believe anyone so that's why you're being told to work on your uh, whatever it is that is holding you back work on it and do not self-sabotage the beautiful blessings that are coming into your life for your career and finances you get the beautiful two of wands which talks about travel maybe you get success overseas maybe you travel for your work overseas maybe you're working on a social media uh, platform and you're going to get a lot of success whichever way you are going to broaden your horizons you're going to expand okay for your spiritual growth you get the beautiful strength card so you have to be strong and you realize that mutual respect will get you to places so you don't really have to bang your head with somebody you try to understand why where they are coming from and why they're reacting the way you are uh, i mean they are and uh see whether you know anything you say can make this change and if it doesn't you know that you're not wasting your time here so you're at this beautiful place wherein you understand how things work and you don't uh bleed you know let people bleed your energy by investing too much into things which no longer serve you all right so you're willing to let it go and show great strength and determination like that so that uh, with that we come to the end of this basic reading and the electricity has gone and i'm just waiting for it to come back if the generator doesn't come on immediately i mean within a minute or so i'll pause the video all right so let's just see otherwise i'll keep talking in fact i'll even keep shuffling because the next part of your uh, reading is going to be one card each from the uh, spirit animal oracle as advice from spirit for the months of may and june so oops this card turned around before so i'm gonna take that if it has to come again it will all right now i'm waiting for the lights to come before opening the cards so that you can see it with me i'll count up to 10. ah it's come okay here so wow this was the card i saw it in the darkness it this was the card that was upturned and it's come up again so it is an important thing for you clear out the clutter and this comes with this five of swords here all right so it's all in your head clear out the clutter what people are saying if it's not serving you and you know that you know choose your battles as i've been saying continuously just let it come don't even take it out from the other year take it out from that very year don't let it come in just clear out the clutter okay uh, e even if you're consuming uh, uh, content from social media or television whatever just let what you know just take in positive stuff don't take in negative things okay and you get the giraffe spirit uh, see the bigger picture okay so that's for you to see here don't let your self-limiting beliefs spoil you from having you know living your best life now i'm going to take out one card each from the astral house to see where is it you're going to have 
uh, maximum changes shifts um, in each month all right so for me you get career i told you with this king of cups here your focus will be here you, your career is going to give you a lot of satisfaction a lot of bliss and for the month of june you get love so there is something coming here uh, in your love life in the month of june please do not self sabotage it by overthinking all right and by uh, because of your own insecurities learn to release your negativity work in yourself all right you are worthy you are lovable and so see yourself as that empower yourself don't wait for others to do it for you do it yourself now if there's a time specific question on your mind i'm going to take out two months and between these two months is when you're going to get that something all right between march this year which is already gone so that thing is already on its way to you and january next year so you've got a large window between any it can happen any time between now and january that's going to come now if there's a time specific oh, sorry no if there's an urgent question on your mind anything that you want a confirmation for or any 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 kind of question that you want an answer for the angels are getting ready and they'll be here with you and they're ready to answer your question so if there's anything that you want, here they are. Abundance. Just look at that. Can you see this card? This happy card? This abundant card? Abundance is going to come your way where, in whichever form it is. If it is of love, you're going to have an abundance of love, an abundance of money, an abundance of anything and everything that you wish for. All right? So that ending your reading on a beautiful note, my dear Pisces, wish you all the happiness all right and have a wonderful may and june i'll meet you in the end of june for your july and august predictions till then be good stay safe bye bye